On our last episode, we made it to Steep Point, the most westerly point in mainland Australia. We then caught the barge over to Dirt Hartog Island, camping up our first night at Notch Point. After an awesome night at Notch Point, we made our way up to Turtle Bay, the most northern point of the island, and explored around the sights and scenes. Good morning. Well, we are on the move down to Wisnell Point campground. It's only about 10 k's south of uh, Turtle Bay. Uh, so I should be there in 20 minutes or so. Well, we've made it. Check out that watercolour. Nice little beachfront spot. There is a bit of a salt pan lake there, so it'll be interesting to see how the bugs go tonight. <laughs> Cannot complain about this though. First time setting up the walls. A little bit of breeze today. And to get those rooftop views, not a lot of shade in the mornings. A tour de casa. Oh. Got all the bush company walls up. And a little protected little oasis. Never used it before. Actually went up pretty easy. It's not perfect, but we just winged it to start with. Pretty good for a first attempt. Here for three days, so we thought we'd better set it up. Windy, sunny. I'm full touring right now. The sunset walk around the point and camp. All these rocks look all made of like tiny bits of coral. All jammed together. It's crazy. There's some dead coral everywhere. Sunset. Doing some exploring around. Little campsite. Picking up some junk along the way. A nice lure and fishing line and some fishing net. Pretty clean really around these places. Yeah, it looks like a boneyard. It's crazy. Good morning from Withnall Point. Woke up to another beautiful morning. Crystal clear water. Oh. A breath of wind. Beautiful. Went for a bit of a morning hike after breakfast. Just where this little inlet comes in here. Got myself a little haul of junk. Good old Swanee D ring pool, stubby. Don't know when they stopped making them. A long time ago. Swan, Swan Gold Lager. He's been here a while by the looks of them, floating around the ocean. Old school EMU export. Real old school EMU export lager. Get the old ring pool on top. That's how old it is. Get two is red. More swan gold. Get newer. New age pool top. Unrecognisable. A can of coke. Those look pretty old as well. Some good old emu bitter. Ooh. Get some plastic, a bit of burnt material. Ooh. 
ruining this pristine little area. Pretty clean really, I think most of it's washing in the tide. But I might as well pick it up while we're here, take it off the island. Well, we have just got to Sandy Point. Absolute magic. Just pulled up a little bit off the beach so we don't upset all the seabirds. Hang out down there. Paul's already stripped off and jumped in. Uh, it just looks like one of the tour buses over on the point. I reckon there might be a bit of reef around there for some snorkeling, but first up and get changed. Go for a dip. Yo! Could get used to this, hey? Old mate in the uh, the tour tour bus. He's just parked up there. There's no one actually over there. We got this all to ourselves. Yeah, so this is one of the other campgrounds that you can stay at. There's um there's no facilities here. So gotta be self-sufficient. Most of the camp spots that we've seen don't have any facilities. Just the um with point where we are at the moment. It's got some drop loose. And that's about it. But would you, highly recommend staying at this spot. Yeah. It's, you can actually swim here deep enough straight off the shore. Yeah, it gets nice and deep pretty fast. There's a nice little bit of reef that sort of runs probably only 10 metres off the shore. I'm going to go for a little snorkel along there soon. Sandy Point and spent the last couple of hours just hiding out of the sun in the uh, under the awning with the walls. Now the sun's getting nice and low. Had a kayak out for a spin. Gotta get my money's worth out of it. We've only got one more night after tonight, which is a bit sad. It's gone fast. off on our evening stroll to hide from the heat under the awning for the last couple of hours drinking beers and listening to music so yeah we're going around the other side of the point from last night going for a little bit of an explore walking along the track coming in then going to duck down a little side track to the beach and see what we can find not much of a sandy beach around this side it's all just reef up to the sand. Tracked a li little bit longer up the beach. It's fairly sandy. Looks like a nice spot for a dip. Carly is doing her thing. 
just being an influencer in the wild. Not bad on this side. On our side, it's not really deep enough to go for a really good swim. So I might have to head back here tomorrow. Come here for a swim. Catch some rays. morning here at Wingle Point and treated to another magical morning next to no wind got pretty windy yesterday afternoon but um nice and calm beautiful sunrise just popping over the distance still got the moon the blue super moon right there And we're just gonna have a coffee and make some brekkie and hit the road reasonably early, I think. Yeah, head, <coughs> heading off to uh, Coin Head. Mm. We'll make a decision if we're gonna camp there tonight or not. Winds are kicking up, but it's on the west coast, so we'll make a decision from there. Yeah, I think we're gonna do a bit of a bit more of a sightseeing sort of day today. We'll go look at Coin Head and then we'll probably go down and check out the blowholes because I reckon once that wind kicks up they'll actually be doing their thing and the tide will be coming up by this afternoon and maybe Surf Point. Um, but yeah, we're going to get packed up and hit the road. Sheep yard, shearers quarters type workers camp. Now we're heading to Coin Head, 17 k's away. We're heading to the west coast this time. We're on the east the hop pretty much this whole time. Nice beautiful beaches. Uh, heading to the west where it's all cliffs and a bit of exciting. The old rugged west. Well, we are almost at Coin Head. We just taken a little detour uh, to check out Charlie's Harbour Lookout and it looks incredible. It's like the Nullarbor. Yeah. That's like a massive habitat way. cool little look around something harbour lookout charlie's harbour lookout very Next. cool getting my fix of climbing on rocks yeah that is one downside of the east coast is there's not many rocks for the billy goat to climb on next stop coin head unless we get distracted by something else Driving into Coin Head now. Track's a little bit bumpy, but it is literally like another world. Well, 
we have arrived at Coin Head. I did definitely not take the easiest line in. It's all right. Once again, someone has beaten us to the best camp spot here. Really does look like Mars. It's like a little creek running through it. A bit stagnant. Looks clear, but doesn't smell great. Some frothy stuff down there. a very cool little explore around Coin Head. Um, Paul had a chat to the guys who were staying here and they said that last night was super windy and the mosquitoes were a bit out of control. Uh, so Paul doesn't like either of those things. Well, we have trekked it back to the east side of the island, pulled up at Louisa Bay for a bit of lunch. Not a bad spot to spend a few nights. Oh yeah, that's another one that was booked out, that I looked at. I think a dip might be in order as well. You keen? It's cold. Why else? Sharks. <laughs> a big one before. Yeah, we just saw a big one come in pretty close. That's all right. It's clear enough to see him coming. Just had a little bit of excitement coming in from my little swim, which was absolutely beautiful. The water is super clear. Just seen some little schools of bait fish circling around me, which was slightly concerning because Bigger things follow bait fish, but strolling in, having a chat to Paul on the shore, and something has latched onto my toe. It's gone bright red. It's like all the way down the bottom here, and then it's got me on the top as well. Scared the crap out of Paul, probably just as much as me. He was like, this is it. This is when the shark takes her and my life insurance pays out. What are we going to do now? Find our camp, so on. Yeah, it is beautiful here, like absolutely stunning. But still about two hours to the ferry, which has been moved left again to just after eight. And um, I strongly recommend that you don't drive at night because of all the endangered marsupials that have been reintroduced to the island. So maybe Notch Point again. Maybe we just go down to Cape Ransonet. I think it's on the website. It recommends that you, cape, that you camp at Cape Ransonet the night before your ferry. We'll see. Nice swim. Shame about the chompy thing. <laughs> Finally come across a couple of little sand hills. There's a little magic button for this one I reckon. A little bit of rear locker, pretty chopped out. See how we go. Crunching and grinding. The old leafy's flexing up, but no worries at all.
stunning. Awesome looking cliffs. Well, we have just arrived at the blowholes. Exciting little drive in. Wasn't really expecting that. How's that drive in? Good. Bit of fun. It was a little bit of fun. More of what but... I expect, expected around this whole place. Yeah, likewise. All right. Let's go some big holes. Oh, yeah. You don't want to get too close to it. wonder if the tide's a bit high. Oh, not far to go. Pretty tired. <laughs> yeah, so get back out and go down to the surf point. Woo. Pretty much just didn't do this section here. Yeah. Shifting dunes and soft sand, that'd be good fun. got down to surf point. Heaps of these little yellow crabs. Oh, their eyes are on sticks. Looks like there's a uh, little walking track up to the top of that little peak there. Go check it out, see what the views are like. Views are already pretty good. Not even at the top yet. Awesome little pool here. Some natural bridges. There's another one behind us. Like a cave. <laughs> <laughs> I just like doing that little bit extra exploring and finding cool little spots like that. People would just normally just walk straight past. That would. Climb over some rocks, get me into the thick of it. That's what it's all about. Last two spots we went to, other people rocked up the same time as us and left like two minutes later. Missing out on all this good stuff. Might start uh, trekking towards Cape Bransonet. Set up camp for the night. Yep. It's been a long day, a lot of driving, a lot of corrugations. Good fun. Has been. We've made it to Cape Ransonette. So that's pretty much a wrap. 
from our time on Dirt Hard Dog Island. We'll be staying the night here and then catching the barge after eight in the morning. Yep. Hopefully you've, uh, you've enjoyed this series. It's been an absolutely incredible seven nights. Yeah. Okay, a good week. Minimum. Minimum, yeah. Minimum. Seven to ten days. Don't, don't day trip because you'll just want more. Yeah. <laughs> There's too much to see. Island's too big. Make sure you allow plenty of time for getting around. Um, probably average about 30 k's an hour between the corrugations and the bends and the wildlife and all that sort of thing. I think the highlight was the first night at mm. Notch Point. It was just it was just glass for days. You couldn't even see the um, horizon at the cons. The cons are the, the corrugations. Yeah, the roads. The roads are very, very corrugated. There's one road pretty much up and back, which everyone takes, and it's not big enough for a grader or anything, so it's just corrugated. Yeah, plus you, I think you'd struggle to get a grader over here. Yeah. Yeah. So with, with that, you do use a lot of fuel. We both noticed that we used quite a bit more fuel than we normally would use. Yeah, I reckon I've, probably, I've been using pretty close to 20 litres per 100. Yeah. Because you're constantly hitting these bumps. Constant, constant. Yeah. So I brought 40 litres X diesel. We haven't touched it yet. We fueled up at... Overlander. Overlander, full. Drove out to Steep Point, come across. We're pretty sure on the cruise with the full tank, 130 litres. Yours is 140 litres. Mm, 130 as well, 135. 135. We will make it back to Overlander, but we didn't do a huge amount of driving around during the days. We pretty much went to camp, camped up. Yeah, I've obviously done a few more Ks uh, with the day trips that we've done, but even then I've, I would have used 60, 70 litres and I've only done 350 Ks. So, um, yeah. Anyway, if you've got any questions about Dirk Hartog, uh, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, we'll catch you uh, on the next adventure. G'day all you little cats and kittens. Where are we? It's true they say that for every one word a man says, a woman says a thousand words. <laughs>